Research complete. Hey, hello guys, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial on Abhi Plus Python. This is the tutorial number 5 about the string slicing. Okay, if someone is new, then go to playlist and search Lavi Plus Python. I already have the four videos related to Lavi Plus Python. Okay, guys, now let's start. Yeah. Uh, first, what you do, guys? First, we need to create the Python uh, Python uh, programming. Okay. Now let's minimize this one. And in the Python file, right now I'm using the VS Code. Okay. If you don't know, then what you do? You need to search here uh, VS Code, uh, Visual Visual Code. This one and first link click to this and click to download for windows okay and uh, it start downloading automatic yeah 73.7 mb right now let's um, cancel because i already downloaded and already installed <clears throat> yes after downloading you need to install it's very easy okay after complete the installation what you do you need to search your visual studio like this and open this one yeah this is the first uh, first phase okay now clo uh, close this one and first we need to add the extension of the python now what you do go to this icon and you need to search your python <coughs> uh, like this and first link open this one and you need to install this python okay python extension it's take only a 5 or 10 minutes okay uh, after completing the installation we can yeah. able to create the python programming okay now close this one yes now what you do uh, first open the folder okay now i have already created let i will show you go to the d and this is my daily research folder now this is my folder lab you python tutorial now click to uh, sorry yeah click to select folder yes you see uh, in this folder I have a five uh, five uh, python files one two three four four i already covered now we need to consider the lab view uh, to number five guys okay now let's start first first we need to create a function using the def and i'm uh, string slicing okay now we need to pass the argument that is let me enter a user string this one first we need to create a uh, one variable that is like a out out string okay equal to and what you do using the user using this argument user string we need we need to do the slicing 0 to 4 it's mean let i'm give the example using the command uh, pardeep like lab view okay this is my full string okay help of this you can easy to do slicing like if you need one character like only a d you can do a help of the slicing it means 0 to 4 means it start from 0 p and it's end to the 4 like p is 1 when you are doing the counting 1 2 3 and 4 it's print only p a r d only it's it, this is the string slicing if you want like uh, they have messages uh, how are you okay uh, this is your full string you want to see only like love you and how then how you can do this you can do help of the slicing using this like this is p1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then you need to enter here 8 start from the 8 and end and like 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 then you need to enter here 19 like this okay help this is the string slicing now first in the starting let i'm enter 0 to 4 like this yes now we need to return this uh, output return and you need to enter this variable where you store the uh, slice string slicing uh, out string like this and first let us check in the python it's how it's work then away switch in the lab view uh, yeah now what you let's i'm enter here print and in the print you need to pass the uh, function name that is a string slicing this one and you need to pass the argument let i'm enter a message that is the pardeep pardeep uh, love you this is my message guys now right click here and run python file in terminal and uh, yes and you see the message is p a r d okay okay now what you do let i'm change here uh, i'm in here like uh, start from 2 and end to 4 now what you do let uh, click to uh, run python file in terminal <clears throat> and you see this is print only rd okay because it start from 2 means 1 0 1 okay and it start sorry 0 1 and it start to rd okay and end to the 4 like 1 2 3 4 
that is mean the slicing guys okay now let's come on the lab view and see how it's work okay uh, save this uh, file and minimize you need to create the uh, lab view code okay and yes this is uh, my lab view tutorial tutorial number 5 lab view string slicing open this and right now we need to use two vi first is main vi second we need to give the you need to uh, create a one vi lab view python path okay right now it's blank now let's start to do the coding here uh right click here and uh, uh, go to the file io you need to use the strip path okay a uh, strip path drag here second is you need to use the build path this one cross this one and guys let's modify uh yes hmm okay now you see this is a path right click and create a constant here okay and this strip path you need to connect here yes guys and this name and relative it's create constant right now we need to give the path here uh, where you save the python file okay okay now what you do let i will uh, yes go to the d and daily research in the daily research uh, i'm using this uh, uh, this folder lavi python tutorial and this one is my uh, python file okay now what you do let's copy this one okay and go to the uh, lab view and you need to paste here like this okay and you need to copy the name of the python file and using the slash okay forward slash and enter uh, cute same name cute 5 space string space slicing <coughs> like this okay and uh, what you do you need to copy this one okay and in the last you need to enter uh, dot py same you need to paste here like this dot py okay now let's check uh, right click here and create an indicator this one okay let's increase the size yes and click to run yeah d daily research live python tutorial yes it's working well guys now what you do save this file uh, after click them after do the some modification uh, like this and uh, uh, yes okay now save this one cross uh, yes now cross this one go to the your main vi this is our main vi now open this one yes this is our main vi guys okay now what you do right click here and go to the uh, connectivity python and pin this one okay first open python session next one is python node next one is close python session this one cross this one right click structure and create a while loop for continuity operation like this right click and create a control this is your stop button uh, drag here right click label this one guys yeah now this one is python version right click and create a control uh, yes this is your python okay now we need to enter i am using the python 3.9 here and session out we need to connect the session in session out you need to connect session in like this uh yes okay now you see there are options the module path already created one vi you need to connect this terminal and yes we need to little modification in that vi now let i open this one uh this one okay in this vi we need to give the terminal here okay now what you do click to this one press control and select this indicator like this you see uh, this term is assigned to this indicator okay now uh, control s okay close this one yeah now right click here go to the select a vi okay now let i'm select my vi this is the python path okay drag here and this output you need to connect here directly okay and this one is function name right click and create a control this one is your function name you need to enter the function name where you create in your python code let uh 
let I'm increase the size yes okay and the next one is a uh, uh, written type and the written type okay now right click string and uh, because this is our written type okay that's why I'm using the string here I'm using the string uh, yes okay now and this one is written type right click and create an integer this is our written type and we need to create we need to give the user and we need to pass the one argument okay uh, let's first increase their size Mm, uh, okay. Yes, guys. Now, uh, right click here and what you do? Let's I'm um, uh, right click here. Go to the silver. Sorry, silver. And uh, string and you need to use the string control here first. And increase their size. Now I meant here user input user string okay and this one is written this one is function name okay all good yeah let i'm connect here now what we do let first we need to enter the function name in the vs code and this one is our function code function name copy this one and paste here sorry yeah let's increase the size string slicing yeah and this one is written type okay and uh, we need and we need to enter here user string okay now save this one and let's minimize this minimize and in the side let's i'm open the vs code here uh okay yes yes guys uh, okay now what you do let i'm enter here masses okay uh, yes let's comment this one okay and save this vi save this python file and let i'm enter a message that is uh, pradeep uh, love you okay click to run yes and you see right now it's give R rd because in the programming you uh, give the slicing two to four okay now let's change i'm enter here zero 0 to 4 okay and you see it's automatic change yeah you see prd because it start from 0 to 4 that is p is 1 2 3 and 4 and you see this is the output prd it's working well yeah if i'm changed to 4 to like i'm here 6 and you can see p a r d w okay guys this is the string slicing guys it, uh, first i'm click to stop okay and let i modify this one and i'm here this one it's mean it start zero to end okay now click to run and see the output it's give the pretty laugh you guys yeah what you do if i'm change this one let i'm end here like uh zero two and i'm end here like uh eight okay now you see it's give only for the help of this string slicing you can print anyone as per the requirement guys uh yes and the next one is like if i'm end here like uh one okay it's mean sorry one and it's give the error because it's continuity run then let's stop okay and right now what you do let's i'm give the two two means it's give the uh, it's give one gap character like when i click to run and you see it's give the first p then gap a next r then gap d okay then gap e then p okay this is the mean okay now what you do let them change to two to three and click to run and you see p then two character gap a and r then d then two character gap e double e and p okay help of this you can easy to do this slicing yeah guys this is the part one in the part two i will tell you the all details about the string slicing like how we can do the capital i view string and lower and uh, what and uh, what about the length like this okay in the part two we cover the uh we cover this string slicing topic yeah uh thank you so much guys if you really like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys